L A L A 吧抓。今天的节目呢，要带您品尝非常甜滋滋的甜点。那么甜点呢，其实有分好多种，有这种比较呃呃美味的这种，吃起来的就是觉得说管它什么减肥不减肥的这种甜点。当然也有这种比较健康的甜点。所以今天呢，我们要一起带您呢一起来看一看。那么现在呢，我们在 Venice 的这个 a b i k i n i 那么这里呢有一家呢，嗯，据说是这个非常健康的这种巧克力哦。那么它是用最纯的。最应该说是对人体呢最有帮助益处的这种黑巧克力。那么它的这个女主人呢，还是个来自台湾的女孩呢，是不是很特别呢？我们来进去看看。Choco Vivo 这间巧克力专卖店，几个月前才在时髦的 Venice 海边 a b i k i n i 开张不久，但超级迷你的 Choco Vivo 绝对是 Patricia 菜多年来辛苦追求梦想的成果。第一次见到身形苗条的 Patricia。完全无法联想，他对于最原始的墨西哥巧克力有股巨大的热情。花费多年钻研墨西哥巧克力，更促使他抛下高薪的会计师工作，展开一段苦甜参半的巧克力之旅。Oh, this is such a lovely store. How how did you get into this business? Um, I went to college. I went to a really good college over on the East Coast.、Mm -hmm. I grew up in a really small town of 3,000 people, and so my family was pretty much secluded from what was going on with the、mm -hmm. outside world. And、right. so, coming from immigrant parents, they have their very conservative ideas of a child you know, taking care of them, going to a great school, becoming an investment banker, doctor, or lawyer.、Yeah. So I went to the University of Pennsylvania, a Wharton Ooh, undergrad. Great school.、Mm -hmm. And Didn't know what I wanted to do, but my dad said, "Why don't you just get an, an accounting degree?、Mm -hmm. So it's a very practical degree. No matter what you do, you'll always find a job being、exactly. an accountant."、Right. So got my CPA, moved out here to California, and I was sitting behind a desk,、uh -huh. um, crunching numbers and get filling tax returns for people, and realized I can't do this for the rest of my life. So went on this soul-searching journey、mm -hmm. of figuring out what am I passionate about and what can I do for the rest of my life, and so、um, just kind of quit my job. Didn't tell my parents. Went <laughs>、oh, down、wow. to Mexico. <laughs> Well, this was probably about four years ago when I quit my job and went down to Mexico and found out that they enjoy chocolate in a completely different way. So came back here and realized people don't understand about chocolate. As an Asian American, I know that Asians don't really、um, enjoy chocolate as. Americans、right. do.、It's, I mean, the history is not as long and profound in、right. Asian culture. Right. I knew when I quit my job that I wanted to become an entrepreneur. I、mm -hmm. wanted to start my own business. It's something that I could combine what I was really passionate、mm -hmm. about, which was people and food.、Mm -hmm. So when I went down to Mexico, I found out that they enjoy chocolate in a completely different way.、Um, came back here and realized people didn't quite understand about it. So. Actually went on this journey of figuring out how to make chocolate in a very traditional way and where to source my beans.、Mm -hmm. It is unusual that an Asian girl、yes. um, has this passion for what you can consider Mexican chocolate,、mm -hmm. but it's just me as an individual really resonating with the culture and more about chocolate、mm -hmm. as a food,、mm -hmm. the history of chocolate, the way it's produced,、mm -hmm. and. People recognize what chocolate is all over the world. They just don't understand the historical context of it. All right, I'm ready to learn what real chocolate is. Can you show me some, or can I have a taste of it? Sure. 先进一段广告，我们休息一下。下一段节目带您品味黑巧克力苦甜参半的魅力。